Hello everyone and welcome to one of the newer kind of okay. Well, basically, this is one of the newer additions to the Napcast that we have, which is doing some game reviews. I am um, I'm Gaz, and I'm not sure if you'll hear any other voices because I'm in the middle of a Skype call with the other Nabs. So yeah, I'm a bit unsure. Well, one of the other Nabs. And Josh is missing, so you might just hear Alex's voices, but I'm really not sure. So, right, basically, I'm playing a game that um, I got into the beta for recently, which is Gotham City Imposters. This is an arcade based game. Oh, it's a game that's going to be released on the PS, PlayStation Network, and the arcade. Oh, Jesus. Ah, oh, I just got destroyed. Oh, lovely. But this game is, as it, yeah, as I said, it's based. It's going to be sold sold on the Xbox Live Marketplace for about 1,200 Microsoft points, or probably about 1,250 on the PlayStation. So yeah, I'm just going to give this a quick go. This is pretty much my first game on it, so I, I apologise for being a bit shit. But I haven't played it before, so I played I played the tutorial. Like everybody else, play the tutorial, fuck it, went straight in, and I'm recording my first attempt to see how much I fail. So yeah, this game is, um, this is a kind of team de team deathmatch based kind of game. There are two teams, guys who dress up as Batman characters, who are trying to fight on Batman's side, and then there's people who think they're Joker's minions, and be dressed up like the Joker, because they're faggots. I really don't like playing. I don't. I don't think I'd like to play on that side a lot because they're douchebags, and I prefer Batman. Oh Jesus! Ooh, I've got a kill! Holy shit! Let's get up there. Yeah. A lot of like random guy talking. So. Oh Right there. There's a guy with a rocket launcher. From what I was going through the loadouts, which I'll probably show you, which I will show in a minute, are uh, there's three kind of body types. There's uh, mighty. I I think it's mighty. I can't remember. Mighty. Uh, I think Mighty Mike is probably the larger guy, as you've seen. The guy with a rocket launcher was Mike. There's Nimble, and this one, the one I'm playing as is just normal, so he's not like, really fast, he's not really strong, so he's just the average player, which I kind of prefer. I, I can, so I can be both, really. Nimble play, the Nimble character class, they prefer uh, being, qu being quite. Uh, oh, okay, then fuck. Right, now let's have a look. Okay, select loadout. Okay, tough. That's the average. Nimble. That's the the fast one. Think of on oh, Team Fortress 2 the Scout. Think of that. Mighty. This is but this is the tank guy who has a light machine gun and burly. I guess he's the fat guy. And oh, and that's the, the small cute, small guy who like helps you. Shit. So oh, I can change my costume. Oh, we shit, we won. That was quick. Wow. Um, <laughs> I didn't expect it to be that long. Oh, there we go. Best players. They look cool, don't they? I have reached level three. Holy shit. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fucking menus and shit. I. I hate menus. I hate loading menus. Right then. Um, oh, calling card menus. Okay, these are. All right, now I can make my own custom classes, which I yeah, secret identity. That's the okay. Edit loadout, custom one. Okay, I had this weapon. I. Uh, okay, we got rifles, submachine guns, heavy weapons, snipers, shotguns, 
rocket launchers, and what's this one? Assistance. The motivator. Okay then. You can keep iron sights, keep a paint job maybe? Nah, well, they give a bit of more customization options with this, so we got... I don't even know what that is. Uh, so we got, you got the average silences, red dot sights. Reveals the position... You know, positions of nearby enemies as wavy yellow stink clouds. So that so that kind of finds the enemies. Uh, accuracy increases, better ammo, that kind of thing. Backup weapon. It's a machine gun. Oh, damn it! I have to keep it as a rocket launcher. Mod. Yeah. No oh, shit. I haven't got the. I can't really change my my support weapons. So there are support weapons. There is movement based support. Which is, I think it's roller skates. Oh, it's roller skates, gliding wings, grappling, and let's go through. Yeah, okay, grapple gun, smoke bombs, which is to keep your escape glider, roller skates, and grapple gun again. So this, so the custom classes show the average amount of things. And oh my god, oh, I'm playing as the Joker's. Oh, we managed to get through two games in this. That's not bad. That's not bad. Starting in ten seconds. Right there. Um, I might show off. A if I, I'll change class. I'll be a scout after this when I die. So, okay. The one I'm using, which is the the, the, the first machine gun that you can get, has a has a um a red dot sight on it. As it, as it seems. I'm really bad at commenting. Fuck. Um. Uh, okay, let's get up. Get up there. What can I go? No, oh, there we go. All right, now I'm gonna go onto the gameplay. Gameplay is—it's very fluent, to say the least. It's very action orientated. This game is very, very reminiscent of Team Fortress 2. Very reminiscent of it. Different game modes. The majority of game modes on this, because this is only a beta based game, there aren't that many. But the ones we have seen, there's this one called Fumigation where we have to. It's kind of. We have to hold these positions, capture these capture these things, whatever they are. Ga uh, gas blasters. I, I remember going through the thing in the middle uh, earlier on in the game. We go through these. Capture these, then we ha and then we have to have the majority. So it's kind of like a capture points mode. Oh Jesus Christ! Right then, uh, check a new loadout. Let's try the defender. Respawn. Oh hello. He's not very nimble as one, is he? He does carry a rocket launcher. Can't complain. Ooh, hello. What's this? Prize. Open the prize. I got a defense prize. Oh, I'm, I'm tanking. I'm tanking while I'm damaging it. So they kind of have like an RPG element of sorts with the damage, the actual damage hits. So when I've been when I was hitting people on depth with damage, as you saw, there's a little number coming up, so that tracks how much health they've lost. Uh, but the health does diff does differ depending on the arc and depending on the actual type of body you have. So the might will have more health than uh, the nimble, and so on and so forth. But it is oh jeez, but I do get raped quite a lot. So let's have let's change to medic. Okay. Okay, we got the motivator. Holy shit! Ah, oh, fuck. They're really gonna try that one, that one out much. Alright, try the sniper. So I'm going through each one individually, just so we can, just so we can. Oh, okay. Let's get some elite snipzors on, like like those cod, like the cod playthroughs that everybody loves. Fuck off! Damn it. You never had a chance. The dick. The very strange voice. Oh. 
Whoa, holy Jesus. Right, let's get back to this guy. My... Actually, no, let's try my custom class. See how this goes out. We are losing quite a lot. As you can see in the bottom uh, left corner of the screen, there is an indicator of uh, if we're losing or not. So they've got 85%, uh, uh, 90% in fact, of the majority of the gas things. So over a time, there's a collection of points. So they have the majority right now. So, but we don't. We have, like, the minority. See, we've only got 5% left. Yeah, but we, we got no chance. So over the certain amount of time, there are different little bits of percentages that go up. For the for each character, no, for each team, I mean. Oh, I'm really off today. And we've lost. Oh Jesus! Now you know what a hero looks like. Yeah, as soon as I get a, right, if they if the bats get a hundred, a swarm of bats comes in and kills every single Joker person on the other team, as like a game ender, similar to the game ender on COD Modern Warfare 2 when you got a certain kill streak and got a nuke, ends the game. It's this kind of thing. And on the other side, I think it's a nerve, ga nerve gas that the Joker uses quite a lot and just uh, sets off everywhere. So I think I'm going to end this review here. Personally, alright, let's go through. Graphics, very comic-y, but they're actually very fluent and I really enjoy them. Um, Gameplay-wise, very fluent, very Team Fortress reminiscent gameplay. Class-based. I really enjoy this kind of thing. It's very. No, I pr really prefer class-based games because it gives. Uh, it does. Yeah, there's a lot of variety, but in the variety, you can change it slightly because of um because of the secret identity. You make a custom class. Um. Overall review, I'd say this is a very good game to look forward to. This is only in beta currently, but there will be a lot more. Features added to it, there'll be more maps added to it, which I'll try to cover when the game comes out. Give that a go, see how it, see how the actual full game pans out, because so far this game, I'd probably give it an 8, 8.5 out of 10. But when the full game is released, and there'll be extra stuff, we'll have to see how that pans out in everyone's favour. So thank you very much for watching, I'm, I've been Gaz of the Nabs. Make sure you subscribe, check out the WoW series that we have on the Nabcast currently, and I bid you adieu. I bet you a deal.